Hello YouTube world and welcome back to my video channel. I am Movement Mike Nimchek. And today for this Thoughtful Thursday, I wanted to just talk to you guys. It's the episode where I'm laying it all out there on the table, becoming completely vulnerable and transparent. I've done videos similar to this, but as the universal flow of things happen in our, in our world, in this existence, change is a constant. It is the only constant that we have is change. Things are constantly changing, rearranging, evolving. And so do our ideas, our state of mind, our dreams, our aspirations, they get tweaked and altered in different ways. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just here to talk to you guys today and lay it all out there. Now, I know I've been away from the YouTube posting, the regular YouTube postings for a while now. The postings that I do end up posting are usually pretty darn late. I usually don't get to post them till the weekends. And I don't have any excuses because there are no excuses. There are just things that I have made a higher priority than making and posting these videos. The cold and honest truth. Do I like making these? Absolutely, because I feel like there's some sort of value to these that I'm providing, hopefully, to many of you. And I hope, at the very least, just a few of you. If I can reach just maybe one of you, then I feel like this is worth doing. So, I can provide a reason or a few reasons why I have been making videos. Not that they're excuses, but it is something that I'm just going to put out there. I recently moved. This is the new place. I've done a couple of videos at my at the at my old house, but not a lot. A lot of the a lot of these videos were in the first two places that I was working out of the two studios when I was uh, working with a chiropractor. That also changed this spring, and I no longer had a facility where I could um, work out or make videos. At least not like a covered structure where I could keep all my kettlebells and bands and all that stuff. Um, so that put a little damper on some of the workouts that I was hoping to, or some of the exercises that I was hoping to explain to you guys, some videos I was hoping to make. And me personally, to do my own workouts. I can do workouts anywhere. It's not to say I've been a lazy slob sitting on my butt all day, but I haven't been doing my usual routines that you've seen in previous videos. When I was making my workout Wednesdays that were like those 20 or 30 minute long workout sessions that I would just turn the camera on and go, I was unable, I was not doing those for a multitude of different reasons um, and events and stuff that I wanted to get done personally uh, that, was, that, have, that was taking priority over these workouts. Again, I was, I've been going on walks and swimming and, you know, staying active, moving a lot of stuff. I, I've, you know, I use moving and the other job that I'm doing now, which is catering, um, I've been making those my workouts, pushing myself as much as I can uh, safely and intelligently so that I don't hurt myself, carrying over the, the detailed practice and methods of, of lifting heavy objects, whether it's kettlebells, my own body weight, or uh, tools, utensils, and whatever coolers for catering events or boxes full of stuff as I'm moving, furniture as I'm moving these places. It all ties in. All of that that I have been working on and practicing over and over and over again in the gym has been, tra has been transferred into what I've been doing for the past couple of months, or past few months now, now that we're in July. So that's what I've been doing. I am also an obsessive compulsive minimalist. 
so much so that I have spent a lot of time just trying to get rid of stuff. Just take it. I, I, don't, I don't need it. I really don't need it. It's gotten so intense that they, I have thoughts such as today. I'm, I'm, I'm in this mental state right now where I'm like, where am I going? How am I evolving? Our kettlebells, which have been my, my, my heart by center of, I exaggerate, but my center of existence for since I graduated college, even, uh, you know, a year before that, when I discovered kettlebells and I started doing the Pavel workouts, the RKC workouts, um, found Anthony Deluzio and started doing his program, right? The Enter the Kettlebell program that he designed with Pavel. That's been my love. I love that stuff. But as I continue to explore and learn about how much it's all about the mental capacity in what you're doing, it's not just physical push through it and just grind it out all the time. That's not always going to benefit you, especially, well, it's not always going to benefit me. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to push that onto you. I'm going to talk from a personal experience. It was, it's not always going to benefit me. Um, I also have a lot of kind of deep inner, I don't want to say I'm, I'm like an aggressive rage filled individual, but I definitely have moments where I have a very difficult time keeping my emotions in check. Not to say that I'm controlling them, but that I'm able to regulate them in a certain way. And I think that I can relate to a lot of people when I say this, or you, a lot of you can relate to me in, in that aspect. I do a, I, I work a lot with trying to keep a level head and maintain composure and, and not let my emotions get the better of me. But there are times when I lash out. There, there, I, I made a video about this. It's called the being able to keep yourself calm in those freak out moments. I'll try to put the link of that video down below. I made it not too long ago at all. But that's something that I've struggled with, um, uh, you know, that kind of, oh gosh, it's kind of like a passive aggressive attitude on things that um, I have trouble with that aren't working out the way that I wanted or that I had planned for it to. That can get really tough. There's certain things that just get under my skin and it boils. It just, it's like this. It's like this pain that's not physical, it's an emotional pain. It's a very intense pain. 